Will I ever quit RuneScape? Um, I started playing RuneScape all the way back in 2009. When I first started this game, I didn't really think much of it. I thought it was going to be like a stupid game. I didn't even really play games at the time, right? I, I was nine years old at the time, and I just logged in and gave up pretty much on Tutorial Island. And then right away after I had dinner that night, I went right back on it and I finished Tutorial Island. I don't know what it was, but something made me want to go back and finish it. 14 years later, here I am running Agility Labs, and uh, that's pretty much how it's went. There has been times in my life where I've taken maybe a few months off of the game, but something always pulls me back. I think it's the fact that if I did take a few months off of the game back when I was a kid, busy with school and whatever it might be, um, I would click on YouTube and then I would see a RuneScape video or I would hear from one of my friends them talking about something that happened in RuneScape and it just made me want to log back in. Even like when I didn't play for those few months, um, I would always be like looking up the news for RuneScape and just seeing like the updates and whatever. And like I said, I'd watch some YouTube videos here and there, and I just always went right back to logging into the game. When the evolution of combat first came out, there was a private server, I forget what it was called, I think it was like 2006 scape or something like that so when the EOC first came out, um, I actually did continue playing it for a little while, but eventually like everyone moved over to that 2006 scape i didn't get too far on that um because i didn't really it wasn't like made by jagex right um and then eventually it got taken down but uh yeah i've pretty much always played runescape or some form of runescape like <laughs> 06 scape or whatever it might be don't get me wrong i have played other games before i really liked combat arms maple story uh minecraft as well as a great game but i've never gotten like deep into other games it's just something about runescape just always pulls you right back so the question of today's video is will i ever quit runescape like fully like you know if i will i ever grow up pretty much and i think the uh the the answer is honestly i don't think i will ever quit the game right um i've been playing it like more than half of my life now at this point i've known about runescape and have been playing runescape so it, it literally is like a part of me at this point and uh whatever they decide to do i'm sure i will take part in the new content that's something that keeps you um on all the time as well as for something like old school right now um i am almost maxed my iron man account which is something i really never thought would happen so you know i've been playing this whole time and we're almost done one more level to go man and we will have the maxed account but there's so many other goals that i want to do on this game um after max so that'll keep me for years plus i also want to get into other things like i have a runescape main account i was thinking about making an ultimate iron man which would be a lot of fun as well going for like a quest cape on that or something i've also really been thinking recently about making a runescape 3 iron man because the thing i hated about runescape 3 and what burnt me out of that game was all of the bonus xp you got all of the double xp weekends and just the fact that i don't really know much about the game anymore and the combat system's kind of it, it's it's fucked right you can get like a million xp an hour is it's, it's not but as an iron man i think it could be interesting to do i don't think i'd ever max it maybe i would it's that game's very very easy but it'd be interesting i was watching a friend's series when he was doing the fresh start worlds and i i don't know anything about that game anymore I'm not promising though, I really don't think I could get myself into RuneScape 3 or even I don't think I'd even want to record it, you know what I mean, for YouTube because so many people just hate that game but uh, as for like RuneScape in general, old school, I don't think I would ever quit. I think the day that I will actually quit RuneScape is when when or if Jagex ever shuts down, which I don't think they will, especially anytime soon, right? RuneScape is still growing and, you know, it's slow growth, but it's still growing. We're getting players, um, they're doing tons of different game modes and stuff like that, so we'll have to see. But uh, I plan to be playing this game probably until they shut down the servers one day. And it's obviously not going to be like the same as I'm playing now, like when I have a full-time job in the future and, you know, get kids or whatever. I won't, I won't have time, obviously, to play RuneScape, but I think I will always, like, in the back of my mind, be thinking about it. Or, you know, if they release a new skill, for example, on Old School, you know I'm going to be no-lifing that shit. The other day I was thinking, if Old School RuneScape never came out, would I still be playing RuneScape 3? And 
honestly, probably the answer is yes. I might have eventually got really bored of it and went and played some private servers or tried to play some other games, but I think I would always like lean back to going and playing that game. And I was thinking like by this point, I probably would have had max experience on that game, which I think is like 5.6 billion or something like that. It, it, like it's it's not like I'm like looking back and wishing I did that or anything like that. I'm so happy old school's out and I'm so happy Iron Man mode and stuff like that is out. But uh, I just was really thinking like, would I still be playing the game? And probably I would, and I would probably know so much more about that game. But if old school never came out, would even RuneScape 3 be a thing? <laughs> like I know RuneScape 3 makes a ton of money on microtransactions, but there's millions of people that play old school RuneScape that are paying memberships and stuff, right? Maybe not millions, but. Also, it's kind of just one of those things where all of your free time is pretty much playing RuneScape, which I don't have as much free time anymore as I used to because I'm busy working, girlfriend and stuff like that, right? So I don't have as much free time as I used to. So RuneScape has been played less and less. So I'm assuming like the older I get, the, the less I'll play RuneScape or have time to play the game. But basically what I was saying is like all of my free time is spent playing this game, right? So I would I wouldn't know what to do with myself right on my free time anymore maybe I'd like join a gym or get a get a university degree definitely not um but that's just what I'm trying to say like um I've been playing RuneScape for so long I don't even know like what I would do on my spare time if I quit to be honest which is kind of like weird but it's just part of me at this point um depending on like the updates that they do obviously will um determine how long the game will actually last for but i i honestly think they will easily make it to 10 to 15 even 20 more years i can't imagine like how sad i would be if i'm like 50 years old and it's like the jegex server shut down like can you imagine just not being able to log into runescape like ever again that would be like the saddest freaking day ever and obviously, like, that's happened to other games, right? Where they shut down. I think it was, was it Club Penguin? That was a huge game back in the day. And they actually, like, shut the servers down. Like, can you imagine? Imagine if RuneScape did that, where you had a, an account for, like, two decades. And then there's, like, yep, the servers are gone. You can never log into it again. Like, that, like, that's nuts. But it, it, it's something that could happen in the future, right? And... It's weird when you've like there's people that have sunk like half their life into these accounts and then one day they're just not going to be there anymore depending right like i like i said i think it's going to last a lot longer but uh it's something to really think about the only actual way i would pretty much quit the game would be if i got a job where i had to like move a lot or something or just i had a job maybe i was working 80 hours a week and i just literally had no time to play the game and i would still probably try and make time even if it was like once a week or whatever to just log in see what's happening and uh train some skills train some slayer whatever it might be but to actually get me to quit the game i think they're gonna have to take the servers offline forever <laughs> i want to know if you guys have ever quit this game for a long extended period of time like i said like for me it was like always like a couple of months that i would take off here and there depending like some summers when i was younger i would be really busy with uh trips and whatever it might be and just spending time with family and friends so sometimes i wouldn't i wouldn't log into the game for a couple of months but uh, i've never quit for like a year or a couple years i know a lot of people recently actually have been commenting on my videos saying that uh they haven't played in a decade and they watched one of my videos and were like holy i can play old school runescape or i can play it on my phone i know mobile brought a lot of people back which is very cool um but i want to know if you, if you guys quit the game for a long extended period of time and then came back to it and what made you actually come back to it was it seeing an ad was it seeing a video i just can't imagine like quitting a game for so long now there's other games like i said that i've loved in the past the one the one that really comes to mind is combat arms it was it's pretty much combat arms is pretty much like a call of duty game that was made by the same people who made maple story um so it was a Nex Nexon, I think it was, published the game. And uh, it was just like a shooting game, honestly. And I, I fell in love with like all of the maps. I actually started playing that game before I ever even knew about RuneScape. And I was just like insanely good at it for some reason. Because I was never the type of guy who would use like an Xbox controller. I've always just been more comfortable with a keyboard and mouse. And I was just insane at sniping people and just um yeah it was it was really really fun and i ended up like spending lots of freaking money on that game right here's my example i spent tons of money on that game and then they pretty much got bought out by another company and they're owned by somebody else now i, I think it's called like a valoof or valoof i could be totally wrong but um 
you had to migrate your account right you had to migrate it in they gave you a year it's not like they didn't give you time i just didn't log in or play the game right and then they migrated your account and i lost that account that i had which i had like spent like like i said hundreds of dollars on these guns and skins and whatever it might be and i can't get that account back anymore which is really sad that was the i was like eight years old when i made that account and i would love to log into it now because like similar to like party hats and stuff like that like we have on runescape there were these first edition backpacks and like second edition backpacks and if you see somebody in game with that now it's just crazy but there's only like 500 people playing the game now it's, it's really freaking sad man I think Minecraft did a similar thing when Microsoft bought Minecraft. Um, you had to migrate your account. I was I was able to do that though. I don't know if there's a time limit or something like that with this, but I was able to mi uh, migrate my Minecraft account. The thing about a Minecraft account though is it doesn't really matter unless you're like really into servers. Um, but like an online game like RuneScape or like Combat Arms, imagine the servers just being taken away or being bought by another company and like resetting them for example like that would suck dude i can't even imagine anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you went ahead and watched the whole video like i said go ahead and comment if you've ever uh like quit runescape for a long extended period of time i would love to know and if you ever did quit fully and for some reason you're watching this video let me know why and uh, i'm assuming it's the evolution of combat but anyways thank you guys so much and i will catch you in the next one, see ya later.